Good morning, friends. Look at my sweet tooth. Oh, let's go back. Okay, can we just look like and appreciate this photo? It's my favorite picture of us. All right, so obviously this video is about my stock. So everybody always asks me this question <clears throat> about stocks. So here it is right here. This is what I use, Robin Hood, okay? I'm gonna see if I can put my link in the description box to so if y'all can, y'all can click it from my link to sign up. You can basically um, start with however much you want, okay? So I'm going to click on Robin Hood and I'm going to show you guys my stocks, okay? I am not an expert on stocks whatsoever, like not at all, but my friends do teach me and I am learning and so far so good. So for instance, guys, save this is spirit airline okay so once you sign up for robin hood um you can and you could start with however much you want you can buy use twenty dollars ten dollars whatever you want but i'm going to show you for instance this is spirit airline and it's abbreviated with save okay this was one of the this was the very first stock that i bought like last summer i think when i started all right I bought three shares, okay? I purchased them at $12.59 a share. Right now, earlier I was sitting at $80. Right now, this is what I have profited off of Spirit Airline. So I posted it on Instagram this morning and it was like $80, but it goes up and down. I think it was like at $39 and something earlier this morning and now it's at $38. I am obsessed with this. I watch it all day, every day, pretty much. And my friends will tell me like which other ones to get. So I cannot tell you guys yes by this because I purchased it at $12.59 a share and now it's up to $38 a share. But I will show you one that I have that I should have purchased about a couple of weeks ago. Okay, this is Snap. A lot of people have this. The uh, a lot of people have this except for me okay well i have it but i have like 0 0.2 shares because i had a little bit about buying power which was money in my account and i chose to put it there it is up to 71 dollars. okay when everybody was jumping on this it was like at 12 dollars, like just like um spirit airlines but i did not know about this one at all well i could have purchased a share at 49 dollars and I would have already made a nice profit, like what, $21 if I would have purchased it then. So I do have $4.47 in there, but I only have 0 0.2 shares, okay? So imagine the people that purchased this at $12 a share, and I have friends that have this, they are banking, they've made a $50 profit off of this, okay? So again, I only have a little bit of money invested in this, not a lot whatsoever. But hey, I'm still up $4. Okay, so that is one. Now, for anybody that is starting, I will tell you recent shit stocks that I just purchased were these three right here. As you can see, I purchased a lot of these. So Zom, I hear, is supposed to be jumping up. I'm not 100%, but my friends and I that are in a group we were told to purchase these so I did so right now I'm losing money on this but this changes daily so it's not a huge loss for me and again look how up I am with Spirit Airlines so I purchased 15 shares at 269 a share but from what we hear in a few months this is supposed to jump big time so I am not concerned that I've lost $9 in the least. So again, this is Zom. It's up to you if you want to purchase. It's actually cheaper right now to purchase versus at $269. So if I wanted to buy more shares of this right now, I actually could because if it jumps up to $10, I would make a nice profit off of that. All right. So here is another one that I purchased. Okay. Okay. So this one right here, it's a dollar and forty-two cents. SNDL Sundial Growers, and I purchased it at a dollar and twenty-five cents, and I purchased ten shares. So I made a little bit of money, a dollar and seventy cents. 
So basically stocks is kind of like just having money and it's just sitting there. So you basically don't touch it unless you want. Now, I know a lot of people do like day trading and stuff like that. I'm just kind of letting mine sit there for now because like I said, I'm still learning everything about it. So um, XSPA, this is another one, Express Spa. So I purchased at 216 and it's now down to 199 And this is supposed to be a good one too that's supposed to rise. So... I've lost a dollar and seventy five cents on this, but again, I have a lot of shares of this, ten shares. So if it jumps up, just like the the um, snap one that you saw, if that jumps up to seventy dollars and I have ten shares, look how much money I would make. But again, you know, you know, you never know. You just gotta watch it. So I'll tell you one that I have three shares of, which is um, Oxy. Okay, so these are up to $27.62 right now. I purchased at $10 a share, $10.92 a share. So look at the profit, $50 on this right here. Again, it's up to $27, it's, it's fluctuating right now. It's $27.65. And again, I've made a $50 profit. So you see the ones that I've made a profit on versus me losing a little, I'm gaining more than I'm losing. So here's a one that I purchased that has really surprised me. It's solo. It's these electric cars. So I purchased these. I actually purchased them at like $2 um, a share, but I ended up buying more when they went up when i ended up buying more because they were doing so well and so by me buying more it made the average cost go to 447 but i really only i think i had like seven shares in the beginning and the seven i purchased at two dollars a share and then when i purchased a few more they were more but these were up to like 13 dollars a couple of months ago and i was doing really well i'm still winning on here i've gained 23 dollars but again, they were up to $13 and I could have sold or traded them, but I didn't because supposedly these are supposed to be like the next hot cars and I'm not 100% sure if it's going to go back up, but my friend had told me about it. So I'm just kind of riding this one out. Um, Again, if you just wanted to see the stocks that I have. So let's see, for instance, when you sign up, if someone signs up through me, I'll get like a free stock. I choose one. You don't know which one you're going to get, but you choose. Macy's was a free stock that I got because someone signed up with my name. So I didn't pay anything for this. And um, see, as you can see, average cost, and it's up to $15 right now. So I did not buy this one. It was a free one. Mm, and the other ones i google like penny stocks so if you can google like get online and just google like penny stocks you it'll usually like kind of tell you and you can follow people on instagram that are like heavy into stocks um again me and my friends were all kind of learning and my fr one of my fr um, one of my friends his cousin is like really big in stocks so um, he actually got his wife in it and then I have another friend who's in there So we're just like in a group chat and we're like, hey, look, I just bought this. It's supposed to do really good And so that is pretty much Where I'm at with stocks <laughs> Like I said, I'm definitely not a genius, but I'm learning. All right, so let's go down to these All right Cryptocurrencies, okay So here's one that I have about $50 in. Okay, so it was doing really well around Super Bowl, but it's kind of dropped. So I'm not doing as good as I was. I'm not losing, but I was doing better on these before. And okay, so I put 48.73. No, what did I start with? I think I I think I put a total of 35 and then I added another five. I think I have, I put like $40 into this or 45. I think I put $45, something like that. I can't remember. All right, so that's one. And then of course, everybody knows about Bitcoin. 
So this one right here, I just had a little bit of money in here, not a lot. And it was like I had extra money in my buying power. So I just put it towards this. So I really don't have a lot of money invested in this. But I'm up $2. I mean, I'm not losing. <laughs> but anyways, it's just kind of the luck of the draw. Basically, a lot of people don't understand stocks. Um, I know like, for instance, I was trying to get LT in it. He was like, uh, I don't understand that. I'd rather just go buy a lottery ticket. He's good at scratch offs. And that's not something that I like to put money in. And he doesn't waste a lot of money. Like I've seen him scratch a scratch off and win $500. So, and he spent like $10 on it. So, I mean, I've seen him win before, but it's not like he buys them all the time. But for me, if you, I don't have any buying power right now. Like that's just money that I transfer from my bank account into here. Like when I want to buy a stock. So um, and I've pretty much purchased all the ones that I'm going to purchase for now, unless my friends tell me like, hey, get in on this one. So how much money I have in my stock, I'm not going to show that because I just think it's personal. Um, and that's just my business, how much money I have in there. But um, as you can see, I do own quite a few and I am doing fairly well on these. So it's up to you what you want to put in, which stocks you want to purchase. Like for me, I don't always buy 10 shares of all, like on the Spirit, I only bought three. Uh, it's up to you. Some of them, if they're cheaper, I buy a lot. It just all depends. I don't even know what some of these are called. Stone mode, I don't even know what this is, but I purchased it at 82 cents. And I have six shares and it's now up to $2.36 so I'm gaining $9 so again imagine if I would have bought 100 at 82 cents I would be profiting a lot right now but again I only bought six so usually whatever money I have sitting in my buying power whatever's left over like if I transfer $50 and and I bought $26 worth of shares I just kind of like use that money but I haven't transferred any more but again, I know so many people have been asking me about my stocks. I am on Robinhood and I'm not a pro at it. This is just pretty much all I can tell you guys about it right now. Um, I don't post a lot about it. Uh, I know Orlando Coupon Queen, she, she's on Robinhood too, Shai Marie. And me and her, like we really don't talk stocks too much. Um, but I've seen her post, like she has, I think she's in on Tesla, if I'm not mistaken. Like she's in on some of the bigger ones that I, I didn't want to put that much money in. And to each their own, like she was doing really good on it. And she still may, I'm not really following those. Let's see, it'll show you down here. So Tesla's up to $714. And so I, I think she's in on that one. You'll have to follow her for that. Look at Netflix. Netflix is 550. Now I don't know how much it is. These are just showing you ones that if you wanted to put money in them. But could you imagine if you purchased Netflix if it was really down if it was like $50 a share and you bought like five of them and it's up to 550 right now, you would be banking. So you can just like Google, like just get on Google and like Google penny stocks and just buy a whole bunch of penny stocks. It's up to you. It's your money. It's it's what you want to play with. And like I said, don't feel like you have to put a whole bunch of money in stocks because you don't. And LT's calling me. Hold on. All right, guys, so that was pretty much everything that I could tell you about the stocks. Like I said, I'm not a pro, but a lot of people are always asking me about it. So again, Please don't come in my comments trying to tell me anything about stocks like you don't know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, it is my money and I'm doing what I want to do with my money. And I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do with their money at all. So people love to come for you in the comments when you show stuff like this and saying this is not what you should be doing, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing very well on mine and my method is working for me. So you do what method works for you because I don't pay your bills. <laughs>
I don't work at your job and I don't earn your money. So what you want to do with your money is up to you guys. Please, please, please do not take this as I am telling you what to do with your money. I'm only showing you my stocks, what I've invested in and how it's going for me. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. So with that being said, I hope that this is helpful for anyone that is interested in joining um, different um, apps for stocks. Now, I know there's more out there, but I'm just showing you what I use. I use Robinhood. It's been good to me. Um, haven't had any issues. So um, just do a lot of research on it. You know, YouTube uh stock investments and see if you can find inf more information you don't just have to take it from me but i just wanted to make this video because a lot of people ask me about it and again i'm not an expert and i know a lot of people starting out so it's just a lot of reading and you know having friends that are into it i have friends that put thousands of dollars into it and they are banking and winning but i ain't got it like that i like to keep my money because i got cheering so if I wanted to put that kind of money in there, I would be taking a huge risk, but you know, I can't afford to do a little bit with it and I like it where I'm at. So I'm doing pretty good for myself right now. And if you just leave it there, like that money that's sitting there, it's basically like a savings account. Like I don't even pay attention to. So for me right now, it's earning and earning and earning. And so if I just leave it there, I'm just imagining like what a year, like what it could be. Like, could this turn into like $10,000? And I would be like, oh, Ava, mommy has more money for your college fund. <laughs> um, but anyways, with that being said, guys, I hope that this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.